Hello spinner, you're on Panstock channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Sukhov and today I will show you how to do this wonderful 3 star level mini combo. To learn this mini combo easier, you'd better be an intermediate pen spinner. You can check your level of pen spinning right now if you don't know it by following the linkage in the description to the post where you can find how to define your level. It doesn't mean that if your level is below, you can't do it, but it will be pretty hardcore. And we start with this linkage corkscrew 2 3 2 pass reverse 1 2 2 3. First of all, make sure that you can do this corkscrew to 3 trick. To do it, you like you do twisted sonic and then you lead the pen on your thumb and keep index finger straight above. You can see that pen spins a little bit on your thumb and stops at this position while one of its side lays on your middle finger and another side lays on thumb flap. This is not the best position to do pass reverse, so you'd better keep the, your middle finger at the center of your pen mode, so it would fall to slot 2-3. For that, you need to lead the pen first on your thumb, and when pen is on your thumb, you raise thumb and curve middle finger to let pen fall in a slot 2-3. So the middle finger is always at the center of your body, of your pen mode. And if you see that pen doesn't go correctly, you can adjust its movement by raising thumb a bit more and curving middle a bit more or less, depending on how things are going. Now we need to add another pass from 2-3 to 3-4 and the whole motion will look like this. So when you do corkscrew, you already raise ring finger and pinky to be ready to cover the pen when it will go from one slot to another. Now we need to connect pass 3-4 to 3-3-4 with new sonic palm down. So when you do pass reverse, your palm is up and when pen goes to 3-4, you turn the pen palm down. Make sure that you do this movement with the circular motions, so it would also include a little charges, something like charges. So when you turn your hand to do new sonic, you end up with pen at the angle towards to your fingers. Making these little charges while you're doing this pass and new sonic will make your linkage look much smoother and more elegant and also will help you to perform the tricks which are coming. So you turn the hand with your pen mode as your pen moves. So when the pen is on 3-4 you do a little charge again and as pen moves in this charge motion you turn your hand and get your thumb closer. Make sure that you end up this trick by holding the pen with its bigger part looking up. For that you will need to move thumb closer to your pen at the right spot. Now let's repeat the whole movement from Corkscrew to Neo Sonic 343. Spinners, you know I don't do brand deals on this channel to advertise you stuff you don't really need. But what you will need in your pen spinning journey is a well-made, high-quality pen mod. And when you will decide to get one or some of them, choose penstock.net. I not only keep good prices for quality-made pen mods, there is a fixed price for delivery to any country of the world. Delivery is free if you order over some amount, but rather than that it doesn't depend on weight of your order or country you live in. By choosing penstock.net as your pen spinning shop you will support this channel and me and will also get a pen mod which will increase your skill exponentially. 
So we end up with holding the pen in T3 at an angle to the fingers because now we need to add charge T3. First of all, make sure that you actually can do charge T3. Do this charge for a little bit, keeping the pen in T3 and keeping all the rest fingers except for thumb and ring fingers straight. Now connect new Sonic T3 with charge T3. Don't get stuck at this motion because we actually need to connect new Sonic T3 with new Sonic Reverse. 3, 4. And charge here is just a mediator trick. So when you do a new sonic with your hand palm down, you turn hand palm up following the pen's movement. When you do charge, you turn the hand with the pen and like make this charge by turning your hand. So pen makes circular motion, but to keep it moving you turn hand. After you can do this linkage, try to add new sonic reverse to 3, 4. We start with hand palm down, new sonic 3, 4, T3 by an angle to, towards two fingers. When pen moves, we turn hand palm up and let it pass to 3, 4 again. Make sure that you end up holding the pen with this bigger part looking up. For that, you will need to move a little bit pinky towards to one side, so you end up holding the pen with its bigger part looking away from you. And now the hard part, because we need to connect new Sonic Reverse 3.4 with Twisted Sonic Middle Bust. First of all, of course, make sure that you actually can do Twisted Sonic Middle Bust. Do it using the same conception as you use while doing Twisted Sonic Bust, just in other slots. To connect these tricks, you will need to turn hand up and down pretty fast. The hard part of it is keeping the pen moving in as circular motions as it is possible. So at first I suggest you to practice doing this motion starting with just charges, because between all these tricks there are little charges. You need to keep an eye on how the pen moves, because if you will do it right with circular motions it will look awesome nice and smooth and neat. But if you will do it without the circular motions, it will look messed up, choppy. So first of all, focus on connecting charge 3-4, charge reverse 3-4 with twisted sonic or twisted sonic bust if you can do it, this trick. And I recommend you to connect it already with twisted sonic bust, because it will be a little bit easier. Watch how pen moves in circles and change directions while you turn your hand up and down. So you start with doing charge reverse with your straight fingers, and when you turn the hand together with your pen, you bend fingers a little bit to let it move in opposite direction. Now let's connect new sonic with the twisted sonic middle bust adding these little charges and turning your hand up and down pretty fast. First we do this charge, turning hand with the pen, then do this new Sonic, turning the hand, bending fingers and end up doing Twisted Sonic Middle Bust. And now let's repeat and practice and master the whole this micro combo, starting with the new Sonic to the last trick of today's mini combo. Watch how fast hand turns up and down to change the movement of pen mod's direction. And now the full today's mini combo from the very beginning till the end. To learn this mini combo I would use light pen mod, but with good momentum. Light pen mod which you can control easily and good momentum to make all these charges and circular motions. For example, as for me, I personally used RGSI comp, so because I think it fits this mini combo learning of it the best. Of course you can learn it with any pen mod you want and you 
can do it with any pen mod you like. This whole mini combo was uh, just a part of a one Tacon game from spinball.com. You can go by the link in the description under this video and watch the whole game because this combo was much bigger than that. I just picked this part because it seemed to me interesting. And it was pretty hard to understand because guys didn't mark these charges in it, so I had to spend some time on figuring out how to connect all these tricks. For example, Neo Sonic, connecting with Neo Sonic Reverse for me by breakdown, it is just a Neo Sonic harmonic, isn't it? But in fact, we do this completely another way. So without marking these additional charges, this breakdown wouldn't be read correctly, but with them, I think that this combo wouldn't look so neat and so awesome. I mean, if guys were to try to add these charges, they wouldn't come up with such a beautiful combo. Let's join our subreddit to be in touch with the true next gen pen spinning community. I wish you good luck with all that in pen spinning. May the style be with you. Bye.